Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a makeup video on YouTube, which is quite strange for me because I don't really do makeup videos anymore. As most of you know, the makeup and beauty side of YouTube is just so 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 saturated with content so i wanted to do something a little bit different today the talent in the makeup world on youtube is literally insane the looks i'm seeing girls put together are like mind-blowing out of this world and when i watch them i'm just like wow i admire your talent but i could never do that myself because i am just not that good at makeup I'm also kind of getting over how like every makeup video, the start and end of it, and don't worry, I'm guilty of doing this too, the start and end of them for like a good 30 seconds, it's just like... Just posing the whole time, I don't know, I thought I'd just do something a little bit more realistic and you know add a little bit of humor in there too so today i'm going to be doing a realistic makeup routine I'm just going to be totally honest and truthful about how i do things and hopefully you guys can relate if you guys do any of these things when you're doing your makeup as well please let me know in the comments down below i'd love to know and let's get into the video i hope you guys have the most beautiful day and i'll talk to you guys later bye <laughs> So firstly, if I can be bothered, my makeup routine will generally start off with a primer. I don't really know if this does anything, but it's really expensive, so I convinced myself that it's working anyway. I decided to use way too much of my Estee Lauder foundation, basically because the goal is not to see any of your own actual skin, because yuck. I apply it using my knockoff beauty blender that I've probably had for about four years, and it likely has mold on it. I don't bother wetting it in the sink or anything because I'm way too lazy for that and I don't want to stand up so I just go ahead and use my water bottle to wet it a bit first and then I get foundation in my hair because I don't know have you really done your foundation if you don't get it in your hair so I've decided that's not quite enough coverage still and Kim K has been doing this really light under eye highlighting thing for a while now so I guess I should jump on that bandwagon and I just do this kind of triangle formation thing underneath my eyes. I don't know why, I just see all the beauty gurus do it. And then I just use some of this MAC concealer stuff because every time my face clears up and I think I won't need to use it, Another pimple seems to magically appear out of nowhere. Because I don't want to look like a grease ball, I'm going to powder my face and I can't remember the last time I washed this brush, but hey! So now I'm going to take this cute as little hula thing and contour or bronze my face. I'm not really too sure what the difference is between contouring or bronzing or what either of them really are, but basically the goal is to make it look like you have cheekbones or something. Uh, yeah. Next I put some on my forehead too and hope that it will make it smaller. Same goes with my nose. I have no idea how to contour noses but I basically just put two lines down each side, blend it out a little bit and hope for the best. Lastly I just put some more product down my jawline and collarbone because well, I don't know apparently that's just something people do. I'm taking this Tarte blush because it's literally like the only one I own I think and Sephora gave it to me for free on my birthday. I'm using that with some random Real Techniques brush, no idea what the name is, and it's not even mine, I just forgot to give it back to my friends, so yeah, sorry about that. As for highlight, my rule of thumb is pretty much just when you think you've put enough on, put a little more on, and then a little bit more after that. Even if I am eternally depressed on the inside, at least I can be glowing, honey, on the outside. Moving on to brows, I just use this Anastasia Beverly Hills brow stuff because, I don't know, everyone says that it's good. But right from the get-go, of course, I managed to mug up my brows. So I have to wipe it off and start again. Now I just use this NYX brow setting stuff because I don't want my brows to come off when he takes me swimming on the first date. Taking this brush that hasn't been washed in, uh, I don't know, like six years? which my dog was just chewing on before also. I just do this sweeping motion thing and hope that it will blend out and not look like my little brother tried to do it. But honestly, eyeshadow for me is harder than trying to figure out the Da Vinci Code. So I just try my best, really. If I'm feeling extra fancy and really want to go all out, I'll put this shimmery shade in the inner corners of my eyes to make them pop. Although most of the time, I just can't be bothered. Next I use this eyelash curler that my boyfriend is really scared of 
and says it looks like a metal clamp that an optometrist would use to hold your eyes open with. I think about putting on some eyeliner, but then I remember I can't draw two straight symmetrical lines to save my life. I use this better than sex mascara, but you know, it's definitely not. It's old and clumpy and I can't for the life of me remember how long ago I brought it. Why does this always happen to me? Like, I swear doing my mascara is not complete until I've got it in my hair. Ugh. For lipstick, I use Velvet Teddy by MAC because I'm basic and I can't really think for myself. So I just use the same shades as Kylie Jenner. Lastly, I use this Urban Decay setting spray. God knows if it actually works, but it's fun to spray regardless. Hey, so I hope you guys liked that. If you did make it to the end of this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Let's just be real. That's how a lot of us do do our makeup, including me, um, when I can be bothered. But most days, I can't really be fucked. Once again, please let me know down in the comments if you do do any of these things when you're doing your makeup as well. I'd love to know so I don't feel so alone. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.